Hi guys, today I want to use this short video to demonstrate the default firmware of SenseCap K1100 prototype kit. We call it SenseCraft. Well, SenseCraft is an open source software platform to deliver a low-code out-of-the-box solution to sense the real-world processing data and send the data to the cloud. The SenseCraft is under in developing with a series of releases. Today, the release is V0.2 with a lot of new features and the UI has changed a lot. I strongly suggest you to upgrade the firmware by the following steps. You may have this V0.1 version by default. It is quite old, please update it to new versions. So, first, please download the UF2 firmware in wiki page or github like this. Connect the wild terminal to PC or mic and turn it on. Then slide down the power switch twice to the end. Then go to the PC or mic and find the firmware you just download and then drag the firmware into the Arduino USB drive. Wait for a few seconds, the wire terminal will reboot and the upgrade is done. You will see a UI look like this. There are three big sections in the display. Sense is showing the real-time sensor data. There are three built-in sensors, light, sound, IMU, and the right groove port for adding extra sensors, like temperature and humidity sensor, TVOC and ECO2 sensor, and of course, Groove AI module. The process section is showing the process of data, like Groove AI, and uplink section lists two ways to upload the data to cloud, either by LoRa or Wi-Fi. Take this for example. Press the button to navigate to Sense section and uh, right click the blue button here, right, right, right here. You will see your add icon. Now we plug in this groove temperature and humidity sensor to this groove port. The sensor data will automatically update every one second. Then go to the uplink section. Press the button to choose LoRa. Please remember to plug the YLE5 LoRa module to the left row port, like this. Then select the frequency band. I choose US915. Press again and it will try to join the LoRaWAN network and send the sensor data and every five minutes. And now you can see there are four packets sent to the LoRaWAN server and succeed in four packets. You can check the sensor data later in the Mate app once you bundle the LoRa module QR code in your Meta app. You can check this later in the wiki page. It will guide you to there. If you want to use Wi-Fi network, please add your Wi-Fi name and password in the config text file, which you can find on the USB drive in your PC or Mac. Open the config.txt file, put your own Wi-Fi name and password into it, and save it. Then reboot the while terminal. Now go to the uplink section and uh, navigate to Wi-Fi, press, and wait for a few seconds, the Wi-Fi will be connected. 
Please go to this wiki page. It will get you all the way to finishing the out of box experience until you get the data on your SenseCap Mate app and third party cloud platform. Thank you.